guys, welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. I am here to talk to you about my long tail riverboat that I purchased earlier this year. It's been a great journey and I was really excited to bring it to y'all. I couldn't believe that I kept it a secret for so long. I'm definitely one of those people where if I get somebody a gift, I just want to give it to them right away. So if you can relate to that, let me know. I mean, whether it's a vehicle or something I bought for someone or a present or really anything exciting going on in my life, I just want to share it immediately. But I am so glad I held out and I think you're going to find this video super interesting because I'm going to go into how much it costs, what my expenses were to go abroad, flights, hotels, food, boat, engine, transportation, and then how much it's going to cost to get it all the way back to the United States. So when I first got in contact with my buddy Will in Thailand, and he found a builder, he was able to start assembling some pricing. And so, you know, he shared these numbers with me and, you know, I had no idea what a bot was. A bot is the currency that's used in Thailand. And so, you know, when we exchange money back and forth, we use a wire and, you know, it's, it's, I have, he tells me a number of bot and then I have to convert it to US dollar. I send it to the US dollar and then it ends up being a different number of bot. And so, Luckily, he and I have been keeping track of all these numbers along the way. And so I wanted to share them with you so that you know how much they cost. And I'll be honest, I'm very surprised on the income level difference in the exchange between the U.S. dollar to the bot. I will say that the U.S. dollar goes a lot further in Thailand than it does here in the United States. For instance, when I went to dinner with my wife and a couple other people, the dinner ended up costing approximately 50 US dollars. And this amount was very surprising to me because when you get multiple entrees, drinks, appetizers, everything that goes along with a dinner with a couple people, you expect it to be hundreds of dollars here in the United States. I'll tell you right now, if six of my friends and I went out to dinner in Sarasota, Florida right now, I'm sure we would spend five, six hundred dollars. I mean, that's just what it costs to eat out and get a couple of drinks and appetizers of food. And it's 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 a lot. And so so as of right now, the exchange rate for the U.S. dollar to the bot is thirty five bot per one U.S. dollar. So if you had one hundred dollars, you would approximately thirty five hundred bot. So when we would go out to dinner, we would spend two thousand bot. It's very surprising. And I will tell you right now that the boat is very similar. You would expect something like this in the United States to cost sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. But as I get into it more in this video, you'll realize that it's a lot more affordable than you probably think it is. All right. So flights for my wife and I to fly round trip. And I mean, round, we went all the way around the world. We went east on the way there through the Middle East. And we went east on the way home to Korea. So we literally went all the way around within about 10 days. And those flights were $6,000. Now, when you start to talk about hotels and things like that, lucky enough for us, we were able to stay with Will. But our other expenses ended up being approximately $3,000. And that would include food, hotels in Singapore, a rental car, and other miscellaneous expenses along the way. So moving on to the boat, which is what everybody's here for. I will start off this section by saying that I was able to leverage my social media. Hey, buddy, I know it's your birthday. You got your ball. You want to play? I will start off to say that I leveraged social media to purchase this boat. Now, with that being said, this is the going rate or was the going rate for these long tail river boats at the time of purchase. I will explain to you in the future how I've been able to leverage social media to purchase things at a discount at a rate in order to promote companies that I really support. And so when I told Will our plans, you know, I want to fly out and make a big video and take delivery of this thing, uh, you know, and really promote his brand and his company, as well as the boat builder and the engine builders, we were able to come to an agreement on price. And so Bird, who's an incredible craftsman, told Will that the boat with the engine would cost 460,000 baht. Now, when you convert that to the US dollar, it's approximately $13,000. So yes, $13,000 is what I paid for my Thailand long tail riverboat with an Isuzu 4JJ1. 
Now, we knew that we weren't going to be able to ship the engine back as soon as we purchased the boat. And so I told him I still wanted them to build it. I was willing to pay for them to put an engine on the boat. And then I would, you know, leave the engine or sell it back to the builder after the boat had left Thailand. And that was the agreement we came to. So Bird required for me to pay half up front and then half before delivery or approximately when the boat was done, which ended up being about a month or so before I flew out there. And that allowed them some time to test the boat and rip it and really get it dialed in before I came so that when I showed up, we could make some great content and we could all have a lot of fun. The really crazy thing about 460,000 bot is when you do some research and I asked Will this, I said, you know, what does the average guy like us make in Thailand? And he went on to explain that you know, in consideration of how much more affordable it'd be to live there against the US dollar, that the average person makes approximately $6,000 a year. So when you do the math, a boat like this is two times someone's income. And I was thinking to myself, when I look at all these brand new boats out there like Mastercraft, Nautique or whatever, you know, freshwater, middle-aged America wants to buy a boat in Missouri to go rip on the Ozarks, it probably is double his yearly income. And so, okay, I'm thinking to myself, this boat's twelve, thirteen thousand $13,000. This is double what the average person makes in Thailand per year. It's kind of the same thing when you write up the numbers for you know what we spend on boats here in America. So that's how much the boat costs. The boat costs 460,000 baht. I will tell you right now that if you wanted to go purchase one of these boats through Will and Bird and all the other people who have helped along, it's gonna be significantly more than that. And the reason is, like I explained before, I was able to leverage social media to help promote everybody in this circle. I want everybody to win here. And so that's what we've been able to accomplish. All right, so let's move on and talk a little bit how I'm gonna get it home and how much that's gonna cost. So the boat is just about 30 feet long, if not pushing it. We're planning to take the boat and build an exoskeleton with, you know, lifts on either side so we can slide a forklift underneath it. And, you know, so we're gonna have to pay for the cage and that's gonna be approximately 1,000 US dollars. So Will and his team are gonna build a custom cage for the boat so that it hopefully doesn't get damaged in shipping. And then we're gonna put it in a 40 foot container by itself. So I'm having to purchase a 40 foot container for just the boat to go into. It will then get on a steamship and come all the way to Florida. And that is approximately $9,000. And that is before US customs, brokerage, taxes, anything like that, which are still to be determined. I'm expecting it to be another two to $3,000. Next, we need to talk about the engine. Since the engine cannot come back to the United States, these blocks stock on the internet are like $7,500. So we're gonna have to acquire a Ford JJ1 that's gonna be approximately $7,000, and then we're gonna have to build it. We're gonna need to do pistons and rods, a cam, a computer, everything that goes along with that. And so, you know, $10,000 to replace the engine once it gets here. And then we're gonna have about, I'm guessing another thousand dollars of miscellaneous shipping, you know, getting the container from the port to its destination. So in grand total with the cost of everything, we have $6,000 for the flights. We have $3,000 for the hotels and food. We have $13,000 for the boat, $1,000 in handling, $2,000 in customs, $9,000 in shipping, $10,000 for another engine, and then another additional $1,000 of miscellaneous fees and expenses, which brings us to a grand total of $45,000 US dollars. So yeah, it's a cheapo in hindsight, $13,000. But when you add up all the expenses that go along with importing a boat from Thailand, replacing the engine, you know, we're approaching $45,000, $50,000 pretty quickly. Well, guys, one of my life goals is nearing complete, and that is to reach 100,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. I'm really trying to get one of those plaques. I don't know what it is about it, but I just want one so bad. I feel like I've been serving my time and I know it's going to pay off eventually. So I'm going to keep on grinding, but I really appreciate you guys support and we'll see you on the next episode.
Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.